Hello and welcome back to another track guide. Today we head to the streets of Montreal ahead of this weekend's Canadian Grand Prix. The track consists of high-speed straights and low-speed tight corner complexes. Mastering this track can be difficult, but don't worry, help is at hand. Track Title can not only show your session insights right down to your throttle and brake traces, but can also provide personalised tips based on your individual performance. Additionally, as you start to get more accustomed to the platform, you can toggle on Advanced Mode, which allows you to view the data the way professional drivers would do in real life. By signing up on Track Title with the code Canada GP, you can get 30 days of unlimited data insights for free to help you get quicker. There is no credit card needed, so sign up today to let us help you get faster. If track guides and general sim racing content is what you like to see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all our newest videos. Now, let's discuss what you'll need to drive this track. As we've already said, Montreal is a street track and, like many street circuits, it's got a high speed straight, low speed tight corners and some very close walls. In most places you can use all of the curb and more, since currently the game physics are slightly forgiving. Additionally, as many braking zones are short, you won't always need to use 100% pressure, so experiment with your braking. Mastering the track requires commitment, smooth driving and some driving techniques too. The first technique is called trail braking. This is the act of gradually lifting off the brake pedal as you go into the corner. This does two things. Firstly, it makes the weight transfer coming off the brake smooth, which results in less chance of losing control of the car. The second is keeping the weight over the front axle, pushing the front tyres into the road, which results in more front end grip. The second technique is throttle modulation, which is the act of gradually applying the throttle out of the corner. This has the advantage of keeping the car stable by ensuring the weight transfer is slow. Finally in preparation is the car setup. Although it may be tricky to get right, a more nervous rear end and pointy front end will suit the Montreal circuit. You want to maintain high speed without compromising corner ability, so try a high rate setup and prioritise mechanical and aerodynamic grip to the front end. Now that we've got all of the prep out of the way, let's jump into the track guide. Into turn 1, brake at the escape road on the right hand side of the circuit and slightly trail brake to the apex. Use all of the inside curb, modulate the throttle up to 60% and lift off once you reach the painted white line around a car's width from the track edge. Dab on the brake around 50% pressure just to scrub off some speed and coast towards the apex curb. Use a small part of the apex curb itself and modulate the throttle out as the corner widens. Into turn 3 you'll be using the brake to help the car turn. Use around 20% pressure just before the 50 meter board and flick the car into the corner. Take the curb and use throttle modulation out of the corner. Turn 4 is completely flat so use all the curb, keep your steering smooth and drive straight to the outside wall. Into turn 5, take a later apex and keep close to the wall in preparation for turn 6. Begin braking around the 75 to 80 meter mark, so about halfway between the 100 meter and 50 meter braking boards. Trail brake to the apex and use the inside curb to help the car turn it around the corner. Modulate the throttle out of turn 6, use all of the curb of turn 7, keep your steering smooth and drive out of the corner. Turn 8 is tricky to get right as many people get the braking wrong or end up running wide and invalidating their lap. The apex is sharp so you'll need to straighten out the corner as much as possible. You'll also be using the brakes to help rotate the car into the corner so brake under the bridge and quickly lift off at the 50 meter braking board. The lift off is what will help the car rotate so turn in at the 50 meter braking board too. Begin accelerating shortly before the apex and use all of the curb to get a good run towards the left hander of turn 9. Use all of the apex and drive right out to the wall. Hold the track edge through the left kink ahead of turn 10, begin braking at the 100 meter board and heavily trail brake to the apex. Avoid using the inside curb and use throttle modulation on exit to prevent the wheels from spinning. Into the final chicane, the two common mistakes are track limits and of course the wall of champions. Brake around the 60 meter mark, so shortly before the 50 meter braking board and quickly trail brake to the apex. Quickly change down to 6th gear and use all of the curb taking care not to cut it too fine and invalidate your lap or compromise your run onto the straight by not cutting it enough. You should be back to 100% throttle before the apex of turn 14, so use the curb, lift a touch to help the car turn and run right out to the wall. Be careful obviously not to hit it. Then it's just a simple case of drive to the line to complete the lap. 
Now, as we've mentioned, this is a very tricky track to get right, and there are many instances of drivers making mistakes. So, using Track Titan, you can see every mistake you're making, but additionally, you are also given tips on how you can improve. Here we can see into the turn 10 hairpin, I was too early on the brakes and shifted down too many gears as well. I prioritised late apex, which is good in theory, but because the exit of turn 10 is very wide, I didn't carry enough speed into the corner to warrant a late apex. Sure enough, if we look at the quick tips, I'm being told I braked too early, lost time in the middle of the corner, shifted down too far, and came on the throttle too early compared to the reference lap. So it looks like I've got some work to do. Don't forget to sign up with the code CANADAGP for 30 days of unlimited free data insights using Track Titan. Now let's put everything together into a hot lap driven by a professional esports driver. The lap time in question is a 1 minute 6.839. Don't forget that you can get 30 days of limited data insights for free when you sign up to track title with the code Canada GP. So with free data insights and all the details of mastering the circuit now laid out for you, we hope to see your name on the track title leaderboard soon. But that's it from us today, thank you very much for watching, see you again in the next video, drive safe and race with respect.